Hey guys, Steph here. So forget the gig economy, Uber or whatnot. Why don't you do something that gives you all the freedom of the gig economy, but where you can make much, much more money. I'm talking, of course, about coding and programming. First of all, to be transparent, I do sell code training packages. I have a code training platform called Studio Web. That being said, I am an entrepreneur. Last time I worked for somebody, I was a bouncer in a nightclub about 200 years ago. So I know what it is to be a small business owner or independent contractor or business owner. I see the gig economy is big. You got a lot of independence, you got a lot of flexibility in terms of your time. So it appeals to a lot of people and with good reason. So the gig economy is cool, but I would strongly argue that if you spent this, just a little time, it could be as little as a month or two, part-time training, learning the basics, you could start doing web coding as your gigs and make multiples, multiples that you're going to make if you drive an Uber car or something else of that nature. There's such a huge demand for freelance web tech or technology consultants. People can set up websites, even install people's WordPress or their Wix sites, maybe set up their shopping cart, maybe set up, set up their Shopify site. There's all kinds of opportunities there that uh, you could leverage. There's so many small businesses and there's going to be so many more starting up uh, I'm recording this in 2020 over the next several years that I, I just would argue it's crazy uh, to be working doing gig work where you're making uh, pennies compared to what you could be making as a developer. Now I'm not talking about developing the next Facebook or uh, Instagram or something. I'm talking about just doing your typical web work or app development work for small businesses out there. And it could start off with real small jobs where you're making 500 here, 1,000 here, you know, 250 here, retainer of 200 a month there, et cetera. But it could start adding up very quickly once you establish a good stable of clients and you can start making, you know, two, three, five, 10, whatever it is you wanna make. And uh, yeah, if you do a little research on that, you will see that this is not pie in the sky pipe dream. This is actually a very, very, very doable, no matter where you live in the world. And the added uh, advantage, the uh, backdoor advantage is that if, for example, you develop a bunch of coding skills, you get a bunch of freelance clients or just a few, and you decide that you don't like the freelance job, you don't like the freelance lifestyle, you don't like running a business, you're an experienced coder. Even if you've done a few jobs uh, working uh, as a freelancer, you have experience as a coder or a uh, tech implementer, if you will. And next thing you know, you can go get a pretty good, pretty good job, a pretty well-paying job with that experience. So two for ones. There's no expression, I don't know if people still use it, kill two birds with one stone. The idea is it's always good to have uh, multiple positive outcomes that can come from a particular action that you take. So for example, learning to code has multiple outcomes that you could get from that one action, right? And unlike what people think, where they have to go to boot camp, where they have to go to college for four years, not even close, not even close. Most famously, I like to cite this study, Apple and Google uh, looked at all their employees Apple and Google, and they found, it's like a couple of years old, you can look it up on the web, and they found that they there is no quality difference in their employees, whether the employee had an advanced degree or not. Let me say it again, Apple and Google checked all their employees, and they found there were, there's no indicator, there was no indicator that there was a quality difference, whether somebody came from a uh, college, graduated from a college or university, or they just hired people with no degrees. Elon Musk says he didn't care if somebody had a college degree. He didn't even care if they had a high school degree. He just cares if they're competent. Uh, same thing with Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel advises people uh, to uh, first go out there on their own. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about coding. You do not need to get uh, a degree. You do not need to spend tens of thousands of dollars. You can get up and running very, very quickly. Anyway, 
In interest of full transparency, I do sell uh, a platform. I provide a platform to teach people about code, but I do provide to schools as well. So I just want to be transparent about that. Check it out, links below. Uh, of course, money back guarantee, right? So I, I don't want people paying me unless they get something out of it. Uh, otherwise, what's the point of that? All right, so uh, I hope you found this video useful. Ciao.